flaky, flavorful Veracruz style fish. Hi there, welcome back to Thai Caliente. As I mentioned, we're gonna be making a Veracruz style fish or pescado veracruzano. So I'm gonna be using tilapia for this recipe, but feel free to use any type of white firm fish. This sauce has so much flavor from the tomatoes, the capers, and the olives, and it goes perfect with the arroz primavera. You can click on the iCard for that recipe. All right, you guys, this recipe actually comes together really quickly, so let's get started. So I am using tilapia fillets for my fish. You can use fresh or frozen. These are some Spanish style olives that I've just cut in half, but feel free to use any type of olives you like. I also have some capers and a little bit of the caper juice just to give some acidity, some garlic cloves, fresh garlic cloves. And here I have sliced um, banana peppers and an Anaheim chile. I just I had the banana peppers on hand, so I wanted to add those. And then I have one small white onion that I've just sliced into strips. And here is one can of diced tomatoes. You can use fresh Roma tomatoes and dice them up, but the can is just as easy. So be sure to season each um, side of the fish that you're using. You don't have to use tilapia. You can use any type of white fish. Just don't use um, any like extra fatty fish because that won't work too well. But I did salt and pepper and then I have a pan over medium heat. I just added a little bit of oil and I'm going to place the tilapia fillets in there. These cook really quickly. Um, they only need a couple minutes on each side. You can see once they turn white and they're no longer opaque, they are ready to be flipped and then go ahead and remove them. I'm doing a total of four fillets, so make sure you um, cook them in batches if they won't all fit in your pan. Once the fish is cooked, go ahead and remove it. Now we're going to make the sauce. I am sauteing the white sliced onions. I just have a little bit of oil that I added. I want these to develop some color and caramelize, so that right there is perfect. And this is the garlic. I just ran it through my garlic press, or you can just chop it up finely. Then I'm adding the capers with a little bit of their juice and brine, as well as the sliced olives. And then I'm going to add the sliced chilies. So like I mentioned, feel free to use any type of peppers that you like. You can also do um, bell peppers too, if you want some extra color. And I'm adding the entire can of diced tomatoes, including the juice. If you are using fresh tomatoes, then just go ahead and dice them up and add the seeds and the juice as well. So we want this to go ahead and simmer for a few minutes so that way the flavors can develop. So I'm just placing the lid on. Now you can see everything's kind of cooking down and the flavor has developed. So I'm going to season it with a little bit more salt because I did taste it. Um, make sure you taste it first because the capers and the olives do have um, a lot of sodium. So now I'm just kind of nestling the cooked tilapia into the sauce. Remember the fish is already cooked, but I do want it to get warmed through. And when you serve it, serve it hot plate the fish and then I like to plate the sauce on top. It just looks so beautiful. The colors are so pretty. This pescado veracruzana goes really well with um, white rice or arroz primavera, which you can click on the iCard for that recipe. I just put it in a little bowl and then inverted it onto the plate just to make it look extra fancy. But this dish came together in less than 30 minutes. You can cook the rice at the same time you're cooking the fish. When you serve it, be sure to spoon some extra sauce so that way you get all that flavor. And then when you eat it, you get that nice flaky fish. It's so tender, the sweetness from the onion, and then a nice little pop of brightness from the capers and the olives. I you can also serve this with some beans or tortillas and make little tacos. And it's just an easy, a healthy recipe to have. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you next time. Bye.